So we all know that Modi government is good in announcing policies, but what about implementation? Don't you think that it is a core responsibility of the government to implement policies as well? So how will you rate that BJP government on the terms of implementation of policies? Well, uh, it's not me who said it, Mr. Uh, L.K. Advani, the BJP senior leader who said that uh, without doubt Mr. Uh, Modi is one of the greatest event managers and we have seen uh, many policies of the of the UPA being tom-tom uh, uh, route and we have started it with great vigor, be it Skill India, be it other Digital India. These are all started in the UPA time and we had successes in it, but he has made huge uh, uh, noise about it and made in, made them into great events. We saw Swachh Bharat, which is definitely cleanliness is a thing which in the UPA started under the name of Nirmal uh, in the under the Nirmal scheme. But unfortunately, Swachh Bharat has just remained a slogan or been uh, photo ops, which is extremely op uh, unfortunate. We again saw just recently we saw the Startup India. Uh, which uh, again uh, was a great show if you see it on television. But the main problem with this government is they've had some big ticket uh, startups. But what they actually need to concentrate is on follow ups. Because that's what every scheme is tom tom around as it is the greatest and the first and path breaking. But I think that is where this government is uh, faltering is that the follow up of the policies that they announce is extremely poor. Sir. BJP is blaming Congress for the derailment of GST, but don't you think that this is a false allegation? If you see in the last uh, three years when we were in government, we brought about the GST and we wanted it to be implemented. And the only political party which did not let it be passed in parliament, I can't understand why they come out, all the BJP senior leaders come out with statesman-like uh, um, statements today. Uh, what were they doing for three years when we tried, pleaded, begged, cajoled uh, the BJP to let uh, GST pass because it would help the nation at, at large thing and the person who was leading the pack at that time was the Chief Minister of Gujarat, uh, Mr. Modi himself. Uh, today also, Mr. Rahul Gandhi just said it recently in Mumbai that we are ready to, we want to pass the GST. But there are the three conditions that will help the people of this country and the uh, middle classes and poorer people is we have put three conditions and they should agree to it and it will be passed in five minutes. We are keen also that the GST should be passed because we, when we in government, we wanted to pass it. So why would we not pass it today? But there are some conditions which we have put, which have been uh, accepted by the uh, by the committee that was put to, to look into these uh, conditions. So I think the BJP, because the RSS is not very keen on pushing the GST to go through, they want to continue to blame the Congress. So BJP always blames Congress for the washout of the parliament session, the last session and the even previous one. But don't you think that it is the responsibility of the government in power to make sure that the that the bills are passed in the parliament sessions. But at the same time, the opposition should also focus on the pa passage of the bills and not on the agenda, on the topics which are ongoing in these sessions. I agree with you completely that the government is responsible for letting parliament function. They have to make the sittings conducive so work can be done. I would just like to remind you here if you see all the bills that have been passed in the last 19 months, as important as the insurance bill and the, all the SCST bill, all the bills that have been passed have been passed with the support of the Congress party. And you supported and these are the bills which were stopped by this very government when in opposition. So we are, we are very much uh, ready to uh, help in functioning of parliament. Now, if they don't want to talk about corruption, should we not ask them to talk about uh, corruption in parliament, ask their ministers and chief ministers embroiled in controversies of corruption? Should they not uh, answer to the country? Should we not talk about intolerance, the levels of intolerance that are being brought about in this country? Don't you think there should be a discussion in parliament on that? So these are the questions that we are raising and we have actually helped many bills pass. But it is the duty of the government to make parliament function and we are and we as i as i have just said before to you
that we are ready. We want the GST passed. It would have been passed for five years ago if the BJP had been on board. So I don't know what they say that the Congress is stalling with GST. The problem with the BJP is because the economy is in doldrums. So they want to play. You see the Sensex today. You see the rupee today. You see the FIIs pulling out today. You see the job growth rate today. Uh, everything is dismal. So th this is the bogey they want to show the world that we want to uh, Im improve this economy because if we let GST come through and the Congress doesn't want to do it. I think the promises that they made during the elections, that is something they have failed on miserably and that is what they are trying to hide. Okay. Um, sir, the global rating agencies they have started questioning about the growth numbers of India. So do you think that the that the questions are valid? Well, uh, as far as the numbers you're talking about, India is a great country and I think it's bigger than any political party in the in who heads it. But this is something that this government when uh, during the election mode had promised to get about reforms which would help boost uh, the economy and get millions and millions of young boys and girls jobs. But we don't see any reforms. We don't see any uh, jobs for the younger generation. In fact, they are just here to help uh, some of the big business who help them during elections, which I find and you see the, if you cannot see them reaching out to farmers of this country, you don't see them reaching out to the middle classes of this uh, uh, country. So they are not reaching out to the massive people who, are in, in, who make this country, but except for a couple of industries, that's how this uh, government is reaching out to. That is why we have this problem. And critics are saying that the government is able to maintain its fiscal numbers because of the sliding prices of the crude. The prices of crude oil, ma'am, are exactly, I've been a Minister of State for Petroleum too, the prices of crude are 2003. It is below $30 a barrel. So the price of crude is what it was in 2003. And what is the price of petrol and diesel? It is the prices in 2013. The prices have come down by 76% as far as crude oil is concerned, while the prices only 28% have come down in petrol and diesel. So the money that is actually of the poor people of this country, of the people of this country, be it farmers, be it people who drive uh, small cars, people who drive scooters and motorcycles, those are the people, money that is being pocketed by this government, which is, I think, uh, atrocious. Prashant Kishore has been roped in for Punjab election. What do you think, what will be the deciding factor for the upcoming election? Uh, well, we have five elections before Punjab and I think we are already gearing up for Assam, West Bengal, Pondicherry in the five elections in 2015. And definitely we have already also set our sights uh, in uh, Punjab in 2016 where uh, Captain Amrinder Singh recently was made uh, the PCC president. And we had another political party uh, joining, uh, merging with the Congress party, if you remember, was the revenue uh, minister in the earlier regime of the Akalis, uh, Manpreet Singh Badal and his uh, party has merged with the Congress and I think we made a commitment to the people of Punjab that Punjab was, um, was a state which uh, was leading, was a leading light of our country. Unfortunately, with the rule of uh, the Akalis and the BJP in Punjab, we have seen the drug problem uh, and the kind of uh, mismanagement of funds have led to Punjab uh, into abscess. We plan to uh, bring Punjab back to its glory uh, that it enjoyed and that is something our party is working uh, hard for.